I'm Michael Hitchborn, and this is the American Life League Report. 25 years ago, the United States had the most pro-life president this country has ever had, and very soon it will have by far the most pro-abortion president to date. Not only did Barack Obama vote against laws that would have protected infants that survived abortion, but he promised Planned Parenthood that his very first act as president would be to sign the Abortion on Demand Act. Oh, I'm sorry, the Freedom of Choice Act. To make sure that the uh, judicial nominees that you will inevitably be able to pick are true to the core tenets of Roe v. Wade. Well, the first thing I do as president is, is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. Uh, that's the first thing that I do. There will always be people, many of goodwill, who do not share my view on the issue of choice. On this fundamental issue, I will not yield and Planned Parenthood will not yield. But that doesn't mean that we can't find common ground. The Freedom of Choice Act isn't something Obama dreamed up, nor is it a new idea. Even before Roe v. Wade, there were attempts by Congress to legalize abortion. In 1970, Senator Bob Packwood introduced the National Abortion Act, seeking to legalize abortion in every state in the country. That particular act failed. So in 1989, Senator Alan Cranston introduced the Freedom of Choice Act, or FOCA for short. Throughout the 90s, several versions of FOCA were introduced into the House and the Senate, but the pro-abortion politicians couldn't gain enough traction to get it off the ground. But now there's a real danger in Obama's promise to Planned Parenthood. For the first time since this effort began, liberal Democrats control the House, the Senate, and now the presidency as well. And what exactly is the threat of FOCA anyway? Simply put, FOCA is a piece of legislation that would remove any and all restrictions and regulations on abortion at every level of government in the United States. There are more than 550 federal and state laws restricting abortion that FOCA would eliminate. Currently, federal regulations prohibit military hospitals from providing abortions. Under FOCA, military hospitals will be forced to provide abortions, and this means you and I will be paying for them. Many states have what are called informed consent laws, and require full disclosure about legal rights, alternatives to abortion, available public and private assistance, and medical facts about the procedure and the baby. But after FOCA, frightened and confused young girls will be told by abortionists that everything will be just fine. What about parental involvement laws? Kids can't even get an aspirin in school without consent from the parents, but FOCA would allow children to undergo traumatic medical procedures without their knowledge. In 2003, the federal regulation against partial birth abortion passed by a supermajority of 64 to 34, including support from 17 Democrats. FOCA would erase this regulation, allowing abortion doctors to resume stabbing babies in the back of their heads with scissors with impunity. The heat is on, and radical pro-abortion organizations like Planned Parenthood are pulling out all the stops to get FOCA passed. And despite the fact that Obama is actively supporting this bill and the Democrat Party is firmly in control of both chambers of Congress, FOCA can still be stopped. If you've never contacted your congressman before, this is the time to do it. If you don't know how to contact your congressman or who they are, go to congress.org. On the left side of your screen, type in your zip code where it says, My Elected Officials. Your senators and representatives are listed on the left. Just click the name and the contact information will appear on the screen. If you prefer to use the phone, you can simply call 202-224-3121 and do the same thing. Also, go to the website stop.org slash agenda and sign the petition which we will be submitting to members of Congress. The culture of death is relentless in its pursuit to kill babies, and it's going for the jugular. The pro-abortion crowd isn't going to back down, nor will it compromise, so the answer is clear. The only way to defeat abortion is to make our government acknowledge that the personhood of each individual begins at the moment of creation and must receive legal protection for the right to live. American Life League is doing all we can to promote the personhood of all preborn babies to people across the nation and also to our elected officials. So in a few short weeks, from January 21st to the 23rd, American Life League's Training and Activism Week will include a personhood conference including major pro-life speakers like Judy Brown, Alan Keyes, David B. Wright, Jill Stanick, and others. You can learn more about the Personhood Conference by going to rockforlife.org. For American Life League, I'm Michael Hitchborn.